To make visuals using Google Read and Write, start by opening a blank slides document. Once the document is open, remove any formatting from the slide. Give your slide deck a name. And once you've named it, you might want to click on the little folder next to My Drive to decide where you want to put it. Then select File, Page Setup, choose Custom, and set what size you want your page to be. 8.5 by 11 inches is a common paper size. Begin inserting picture symbols by selecting shapes and choosing the shape you want your symbols to be. Click to drag to make your first shape. Once your first shape has been created, choose Format Options, Size and Rotation, and then select the size you want your shape to be. If you want your picture symbol cards to be squares, you might select 1.5 inches or 2 inches. Then choose the Fill Can, select Transparent to make the background transparent, change the border size to whatever you would like it to be. Once your shape is finished and ready, you can copy it and paste it. Using Edit Paste in Slides doesn't work, so you have to use the keyboard shortcut Control and V to paste. Paste your shape and then drag it to where you want it. The red guideline tells you that you've centered it with the object beside it. The little blue guidelines tell you that your objects are equally spaced. Continue pasting and dragging until you have as many objects as you'd like across your screen. You can type text into any shape and before duplicating the first shape, I should have formatted where I wanted my text to be placed. I can center the text and place it at the bottom of the shape. I'll quickly do this for each shape. Now that the whole row is the way I like it, I can click and drag over top of all of the shapes to select them. Control C to copy and Control V to paste an entire row. Now I can begin entering text into my picture card template. I will close some of the options and zoom in a little so we can see the slide better. At the top of the screen, I will click on the purple puzzle piece to open Read and Write. The second tool on the toolbar is the picture dictionary. When this is opened, while the cursor is touching text, picture symbols that represent the text will be shown and can be dragged onto the slide, resized, and moved into position. Moving to my next card, I will insert my next label and at the end of the word, the picture dictionary should populate the picture that I want. Once I've put the next picture into position, I can continue this process moving on to the next picture card. If my label is two words that commonly go together, I can use my cursor to highlight both words and the picture dictionary should generate an image that matches. If pictures aren't generated, try closing and reopening the dictionary. I want to change the order of my picture cards, so I'm going to hold down control while I click the shape and the image, then right click, select group. This will group the two items together so that they are easily moved without changing any formatting. Then I can slide the cards into a new position. I will finish the row by typing two words, highlighting the text, and selecting the picture symbol. I could continue working on the next row, but instead I think I want multiples of the top row. So I'm going to select all, right click copy, and then control V paste. I can do this as many times as I want to have the symbols repeated. Google Slides and Read and Write are tools that every educator has available. It is quick and easy to create picture symbol cards using these tools. 
The Read and Write Picture Dictionary is also available in Google Docs.